I'm calling the Scotch Cabinet Project. It's a great project to build a cabinet for your favorite bottle of liquor or other things you may want to hold around the house. It's also very easily scalable in both width, height, and depth. So when you open up the door in your Scotch cabinet, you'll find that it's designed for room for two stemless glasses and your favorite bottle of liquor, or for me, that Scotch. So let me walk you through all the great techniques that you'll learn in building the Scotch cabinet. I'll show you how to build a rock solid case using sliding dovetails for both the top, bottom, and shelf. I'll show you how to inset a face frame and add pieces on both the bottom and the top that allow for a seamless expansion to your face frame. I'll share with you techniques on how to mortise your hinges. I'll show you how to build a traditional frame panel door with a raised panel in the center and install a brass ball and catch which makes for a great noise when opening and closing the door. And you can choose to use a store-bought knob like I did with this beautiful leather pole or I'll show you how to turn your own knob on the lathe. I'll also show you how to build and install a shiplap back, how to cut this beautiful crown molding and install it on the cabinet, and to hang your cabinet on the wall, I'll show you how to install a bronze hanger. And to finish this all up, I'll show you how to use shellac and a colored wax to really make your walnut and wangi pop. But you don't have to make this cabinet in walnut and wangi, you can also make it in other woods such as mahogany. Now, if that sounds like a lot of woodworking fun to you, because it was sure a lot of woodworking fun for me, I hope that you join me to build this Scotch cabinet. So check it out at www.mmwoodstudio.com.